Alright, welcome back to the Sea Files podcast. Uh, we're back with our honorary the, second episode the, guest, the Huxley. Ah, uh, yes, I have never been here before. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're a little weirded out because we just got a decent bit into recording this and then realized my mic wasn't turned on. So, welcome to the second take. Yeah. You'll never hear the first take because it doesn't exist. Well, it does exist, but it's six it's minutes only of an silence. Honorary. <laughs> Six minutes of silence, so uh, I'm just going to check one more time, make sure this mic is on. The mic is on, we're good, okay. Everybody clap for Luke, I know. he knows what he's doing, I know I what I'm doing, I'm very professional. Um, we're talking about Cruella. Yes. Um, so, we, as we mentioned, I'm sorry, it's really weird, I feel like I'm yeah. just rushing to get where we were in the conversation. Yeah, just, just let it happen. <laughs> um, yeah, so... We're doing Cruella. Yes, in, Cruella. Can't read or see and just press something, which is, I imagine, how most people, how we get most of our views. Yeah, I can people see People randomly that that clicking happens. YouTube. Um, so, uh, Moving that's... onwards from slightly depressing points. I uh, know, we're very unpopular. Mm. If if we do get popular, which is a big if, mm. this is going to age, this is going to be really weird. They're going to they're gonna be like, oh my god, when they weren't famous. And I'm going to be like, yes, I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I intend to grow up to be a diva. Uh, the villain and the Baroness is my uh, spirit his animal. role muzzle. His role muzzle. My spirit animal. Uh, <laughs> Classic Luke, everyone. <laughs> when I do that Harry Potter thing, what's the Harry Potter thing? Where they have the the Dementors and it gets the Dementors away, and they go, eh, and the Dementors go away because it's, it's an animal. Patronum. Uh, that expect it's Emma Thompson comes out with like a fax and sexy hairdo. Oh, she no. goes, excuse me. <laughs> So, um, yes, Luke's spirit animal is a fancy English person. Yes. Said the person from New York. But definitely English for the pur- purposes of this film. For the purposes of this video, we're, I'm English. Um, and so is Emma Thompson. And the most... I'm, I'm just... We should do the entire thing in aristocratic voices. I think that's what we're gonna I, do. I really think that's a bad idea. My dear sir. <laughs> well, if you don't say so yourself. Don't say so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is going to be a really stupid episode. <laughs> and we're leaning into it fully. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Cru- this got is a mixed review. Not a mixed review episode. I think the, the movie got mixed reviews, I think. Yep. Got to like 70. But oh. It was one of those things where every like, it's one of those audience scores is like super high. Critic oh, score right. is kind of low. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm sure it's just because it's like there was no technically anything amazing. Yeah, I gotta say, a when a movie is mixed, I'm mu- on like when Rotten Tomatoes has like fifty percent, I'm way more interested in its Rotten Tomatoes score. Like yeah, that makes sense. I really like Don't Look Up. We'll get an episode on that eventually, and I'll probably talk about this more in depth. But that has had like a forty-eight to fifty-two percent on Rotten Tomatoes going up and down, what? which is not bad. Because I think, you know, because it's, I'll mention it, I'll talk, about, I'll talk about it later in the podcast, that it's a very, de- I think it's a very decisive film. Divisive, I know divisive? it was. Divisive? Yeah, that's the one that you want. It was. <laughs> uh, and I think that's why it's getting weird reviews. Anyway, yes. uh, let's talk about... Um, we'll, we'll come back to that. Yeah, we'll talk about a, a movie made by the other, really, the other major uh, movie franchise, uh, Disney. Yes, Disney. I feel like most studio things is just like, what's... Bi- I mean, it is essentially that on my podcast. I either only review Netflix. I'm trying to review. Like, I've been reviewing bigger movies, which I probably mm. should stop. But every movie we reviewed so far, essentially every m- new movie reviewed is either Disney or Marvel. Not Disney or Marvel. Disney or Netflix. There you go. So yeah, I'm currently on Team Netflix. Oh, uh, I don't know. So who... what? What? Um, what's Disney done that hasn't gotten you? Or oh, actually, no. What's Netflix done. Fear Street. Fear Street. <laughs> I really like not watched Fear Street. I really like Fear Street. And, and, and Stranger Things. Stranger Things was good. I don't know. I just like it how they make stuff that's 18. Oh, I understand. Disney doesn't do that. So it's annoying. Yeah, well, Disney's uh, very much aimed at families um, yeah. enjoying content together. Even though they own the alien movies. But, um, yeah, it's fine. So... <laughs> Yeah, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Tangents, ladies and gentlemen. Tangents. Um, yeah, so Cruella. You like Cruella. Cruella is good. Surprisingly, only the second film I've seen about fashion. What's the first? Um, Devil Wears Prada. That's over, yeah. This is... I mean, I haven't watched Devil Wears Prada in ages, but this is... That's, uh... 
Um, I didn't understand Dallas Prada. Yeah, me neither, but I, I felt like it was a good film for some reason. I know. I don't know why. Because people talk about it and the posters are shit. Mm, a little, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it. I watched it, Del Paz It Lockheed. looked like it knew what it was talking about. Del Paz, it had Meryl Streep in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. Emma Thompson is just playing Meryl Streep. But evil. Yeah. English Meryl Streep. Yeah. That'd be a cool movie. <laughs> that would be very cool. Yeah. They also both look like Thatcher in some scenes. I mean, I know Meryl Streep has played Thatcher in a movie. I haven't seen Iron Lady. Something like that. And then in Not this cool. movie, some shots of Emma Watts. Thompson. So that's many Emmas. One. Thompson looks a bit like Thatcher when she's pregnant and in the window. I'm like, oh, man, it's not Thatcher. Who knows? Yes, who knows? Yeah, I feel like a lot of English people have a lot of things like Thatcher I don't get. Um, to be completely honest, I have no idea who this is. Thatcher, the Prime Minister who stole milk. Oh, that <laughs> one. Yep. That's all I know. I know she I know. stole milk. She stole... What, why does the president need to Prime not Minister. Pr- that one? Thank you. Oh, God. I'm American. That's I'm not American, I swear. Back up. <laughs> Please, I'm not American. <laughs> a, guy, a guy who listening to this puts down his pitchfork. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why does the Prime Minister need to steal milk? That is the question of the day. <laughs> some, some people are screaming at us through that. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. We're sorry. We're, we're youths. We're Gen Z. <laughs> yes, we are the youths. We know nothing about the past. We're Gen Z. <laughs> I mean, as in, this movie's on a Stone Age set, you know? <laughs> 1960 long ago. Yes. Um, yeah, so... Anyway, we liked Cruella. I guess that's a long way of saying... When did we're saying we liked Cruella. Yeah. Um, I guess we should... I don't know. I can't think of anything in particular. So I have, I have Luke three... was talking about the uh, music quite a lot. Music was good. Just music, music was good. good. I haven't a clue yes. who composed it. But they, they did their job well. Um... Well done. Also, this movie has more beat drops than Suicide Squad. I'm not joking. I haven't watched the original Suicide Squad. You haven't watched anything, dude. No, I watched the new Suicide Squad. That was good. It was good. I didn't like the starfish. I didn't care about the starfish. The starfish grossed me out. But other than that, it was good. Okay, it grossed you out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. John Cena's character was very yes. one-sided. He's getting a, well, they're getting a TV show to expand I know. on it. Yeah, I'm going to watch that TV show. If they don't expand on his character, I'm going to be very disappointed because yeah. it was just... Oh yeah, I'm evil now. Have fun. Well, I get it. Did you understand why he did it? I mean, yeah, to protect the US, but like... Mm. As we all should. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> As a Brit, we are constantly trying to... We are in a desperate plight to undermine them at every turn. Exactly. <laughs> See, now he gets it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess run through this. Um, I mean, the opening has a opens with pregnancy, as all good movies mm, should. Yes. I'm not... In... What other... Wait, what other films have you seen that open with that specifically? I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I, own, I can only think of the Birds of Prey animation of... Let's start at the beginning. And then it has the egg and the sperm, and it's like, not that fine, the beginning. Um, and then they oh. <laughs> just do backstory. That was a weird movie. For some reason, her accent just bugs me in um, Birds of Prey and just the uh, films where you have uh, Harley Quinn in them. Mm. I just don't like her accent for some reason. And I don't know I think we should kind of supposed to do. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. It's just slightly grating. It makes you think, and I know you won't get this reference, but mm. Rob Zombie's wife. He's a director, and he's he's puts his wife in all his movies, mm. and she's a, apparently she gets judged for her laugh a lot in certain like in the Firefly trilogy, so maybe that would. Mm. Although she's like way older than Margot Robbie, yeah. Um. Anyway, so and opens other with anecdotes that yeah. I don't understand. Opens with a pregnancy, so no, it's a good movie. We did start out at the beginning. We yeah. Um. The early years, or the intro, the of intro. <laughs> her primary school experience definitely portrayed her character very well. Yeah, I thought the... And uh, I enjoyed that very much. The coat malarkey. Yes, um, the coat malarkey. <laughs> the coat malarkey was fun. I mean, it's... You would immediately get... As someone who's gone to, like, one of them, one of them schools in London, fancy England, ones. one of them fancy schools with their uniforms... 
they would immediately be like, oh, yeah, hey, they would not be having it. It would, I, you can't, I've done this, th- I got told off constantly for doing the thing where you wear a tie and then you don't do the top button because it's constantly strangling you. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. we used to do that at my yeah, school. Yeah, it sucks, but they make you do the top button and you're like, <laughs> the entire day, so. I mean, it's weird. Year seven, they care about that stuff. You hit year nine, they, they mm. could do whatever you want, they don't care. Um, yeah. Yeah, my mum as I walked into class and my teacher was like, have you been drinking, Al? <laughs> He's like, you look really hungover. Um, it's just what Luke looks like. Now I'm, you have a better I'm just um, a appreciation terrible... of what he looks like. He's like, He looks like an overweight man in his 40s. That's exactly what I look like. But in a 15-year-old's body. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite amazing. <laughs> 60% of the time works all the time. <laughs> uh... Yeah, so, uh, the beginning of this movie is, is good. Mm. Uh, it has, it's, um, it, it, it starts that weird, this weird thing of Terminators in this movie. <laughs> he thinks everything's a Terminator there reference. Are, there are mul- I'm gonna point these out as we go through. All right. There are multiple Terminator things. The first thing here is they're playing dodgeball, and she catches a dodgeball from someone's face and doesn't move her arm. That is a hard thing to do. Firstly, catch a dodgeball with one arm. Secondly, like, not move it. Like, not move your entire body, just... The, the question I have, though, is how was her hand big enough to go round the dodgeball enough to actually not have it slip out of her Stick hand? A tennis ball. It wasn't a tennis ball, it was. I swear. They painted was a it? tennis ball when she's really small. <laughs> 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 she's just, like, one foot. <laughs> they CGI'd it. But like, we can't get a ball to be like, let the computer do it! <laughs> they, they just scale her and post. Just clap, click the edge, edge of the box and use, drag it bigger. They use Photoshop to do that draw, use the drawing thing with the, with the mouse key to draw a circle over her hand. <laughs> That's why she didn't move, it wasn't there. Uh, yeah, there, there was actually nothing there to stop um, the actress's face in the back getting hit with the dodgeball. Yeah. They just cut that out, they paused it, and then photoshopped in the hand. Mm. So in reality, they just threw a, a ball at a child's face. <laughs> I'm trying to be sincere, it didn't work! <laughs> um, on a slightly more serious note, uh, I, I think one, I did hear that, I heard a lot of talk about because I think a lot of, I mean, I'm not, I think some people take this a little seriously, too seriously, but there's a lot of, um, a lot of people on the internet, because uh, there's a whole, you know how Disney making a lot of, like, tries to make female-led movies, mm-hmm. as you know, yeah. it's cool. Um, but I think a flaw with a lot of them that uh, a lot of people, f- I mean, because they, they often aren't doing great at the box office. Right. I mean, Charlie, the Charlie's Angel movie is pretty good. At Charlie's it. Angel's movie was interesting. That's for sure. It was, it, it was something. Yes. Um, <laughs> but I think uh, but a lot of the criticism about the reason people, those movies aren't doing great is that they have men be evil for no no real reason other than sexism. Which, there are sexist people in the world, but I don't think mm. just people are evil for that reason. And I think the ju- complaint is it doesn't add any character motivation and can come across as boring. So I heard... So I think I remember who it was. Uh, yeah, I can't remember the channel's name. They were talking about how they thought it was interesting how this movie... Because she clearly gets bullied in this movie by a bunch yeah. of... They say they... And that actually kind of happens throughout the movie. That they liked how Cruella's getting bullied because of classism instead of the sexism thing because the sexism thing can come off as just kind of tired. I guess, especially now we've had like 800 movies about it. Mm. Um, so I think... That was an interesting choice. Yeah. Oh, I just completely took it as boys being mean because they can. Because fuck it, yeah. That's year seven. That happens. <laughs> yeah, they weren't even year sevens. They were like year four. Yeah, they, just... oh, they're all terrible things. Um... <laughs> People are horrible. That's what you have to learn from this podcast. Deal with it. Um, yeah, so... Uh, so, yeah, so she gets expelled. Mm. And then they, they're driving to London. Because... Obviously, if you don't have any money, you drive to London, because that's where it's easy to make money. Yeah, strange location choice. Why didn't they just go to, like, Manchester or somewhere Anywhere cheaper? Else. Anywhere else. London. <laughs> uh, I... So they go straight to London, but they go... Oh, no, they the f- countryside still. That would work. Yeah. Live in the woods. 
<laughs> yes. Live in a cabin in the woods but, with no become a witch. energy or anything. Exactly. Perfect idea. Join Hogwarts. Who knows? It's England. It's not that clo- not that far. <laughs> um. Uh. So yeah. So they, they they go. They visit the Baroness. Mm. And but we don't know that yet. We don't know that. Well, they know they visit. They visit Dracula's castle. Essentially, yes, they visit Dracula's castle. Um, very nice of all these like medieval castles be built on cliffs. Well, it was it was stylistic. As you do. Break. As you do. They, they just thought the view looked nice. <laughs> um, which and the place is called Helman Manor. That one. So it isn't a castle. It's a manor. How dare you lie to them? What an inspired name, Hellman Hell Manor. Is that just for the reveal at the end that she t- turns it into Hell Manor? Yes. And okay. I think... That makes sense. I have some stuff to talk about there as well. Um, but they go there, and then the mum says, stay in the car, and then Corolla doesn't stay in the car, because the movie has to happen. Well, she's um, a child. What do you expect? And the movie, and the screenplay says. There, there on page eight, it says yeah. that you need to guess what they got the car. Um, so she gets out the car, causes Kamokus, gets attacked Kamokus. by... Kamokus? The... Whoa, 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 What is a Kamokus? That's a word I made up just now, and you oh. know exactly what it means. <laughs> I mean, I do, but still. <laughs> so, I mean, there's, there's a party at the manor, and then she goes there, and this dog she had earlier, who she's been carrying around, causes Kavokas by angering these, like, rabid Dalmatians. Like, I, I don't know what, these dogs must be rabid. There's yeah. some, like, really aggressive, like, they're trying to kill a kid. The Dalmatians are definitely scary. Unreasonably so. I've I've never actually had an experience with a Dalmatian or any dog of that kind. I've never. Have you been attacked by a dog? No, no. no. I mean, I've never met a Dalmatian before, but they oh, don't no. seem like the They're kind not. of dog that yeah. would be very angry all the time. Actually, I was attacked by a dog once. I don't really freaked out. <laughs> it's story time. My eight-year-old self. I mean, the thing is, I realized after a bit my eight-year-old self sucked, so I might have provoked it and just blocked that out. But a hunting dog jumped on me and like pushed me onto the sofa and the house is made not my maid the house is made um rescued me um and i was terrified of that hunting dog for the rest of the time we were in that house you see he did live in the house so it was his maid he just wasn't want to tell you that yeah <laughs> no i was, I was thinking some friend like i was sleep. i was like uh we were boring our friend's house mm. and then they were there for a few days so yeah it's not there. anyway uh anyway. dogs are scary not um, that scary. I had a guy who was terrified. I don't know a guy at school who was terrified of dogs. Like, every time he saw dogs in the park, he'd freak out. <laughs> it was really funny. That does sound funny. Yeah. Yes, so rabid Dalmatians. Rabid for... Dalmatians. No real reason. Just trying to kill yeah. a kid in, like, a party. Maybe they're just really well trained. Yeah, so she so she runs out of the party, chased by Dalmatians, and then she sees a bunch of Dalmatians who are chasing her jump over her and then push her mom off a cliff while the Baroness pointing at her. But that means something, but we don't know that yet. Yes. Um, also, the Baroness has like a Elizabethan costume on because this movie's costume mm. choices are great, but are very fuck it. Um, mm. I think that's a good way to describe it. It's, yeah, so anyway, so she. I think it was a themed party. Themed, yes. I don't think we should go to more themed parties. That would be fun. Yeah. Um, I need an excuse to wear a tuxedo at some point. I saw a TikTok. It was like when your bro has a th- has a has a seventies themed wedding, but doesn't specify the century, and they're all wearing seventeen seventy seventeen clothing. <laughs> God, good men. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she they are at the party, and then so she's like, "Oh no, I'll kill my mum!" And as all we do, go and kill our parents. She gets on a she hitchhikes onto a truck and goes to London and then goes to a fountain in London. Mm. I don't know why. It was it was um important because they were talking about the Regent's Park with the fountain in it. In uh well she was talking Corilla. Yeah. Was this on the drive yeah, to the thing? On the drive to London yeah. before they went to the manor was talking about Regent's Park with the fountain mm-hmm. to her mum before she died. Oh, so now she that. goes there right. and talks to her mum, which is, you know, like right. figurative. This is why we have because... someone, this is why there are two people on this podcast. Yes. I would not remember that. Anyway, so then she meets um, Kid Jasper and other guy. I don't know which one's Jasper. Jas- I think he's the intelligent one. Alright. Um, and this is some grade A kid acting here. Oh, yeah. 
Um, but, yeah. <laughs> normally people say, don't blame kids for kid acting, but I am a kid, so I'm allowed to do that. Um, and this kid acting is oh, not good. Yeah. Adults can't do that, kids can. The question is, could you do it better? Uh, maybe, like, a few lines. That's it. <laughs> I'm, not a guy. I'm not a good actor. Um, but there is, I mean, part of it's just, like, they're ten-year-olds, so that when they say the word, like, gang, I'm like... Uh, yeah. To be fair, though, that is not a foreign concept for most ten-year-olds, and yeah. they just think it's cool. Cool. <laughs> cool. Um, <laughs> life is just a side story for them. I think I'm... Is it East Side Story? I don't know. West Side Story. West Side Story. Um, Except not West Side Story, because that's actually just Romeo and Juliet. Uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so that happens, and then... Uh, so, she, yeah, so basically Jasper are, like, two... Uh, 1800s-style orphans just running around London. And this Victorian is the Victorian bit... thieves. Yeah, it's Victorian thieves in the it's, 1970s. Um... Oh Sorry, god, wait, wait. 1964, it, they specify the date. It's 1964 it's right now. Mary Poppins, isn't it? With, Essentially, uh, yeah. No, no, it's Oliver Twist. <laughs> Oliver, Twi- Oliver, it is, Twist. Yeah, it's Oliver Twist. <laughs> she meets two of the kids from Oliver Twist. Uh, and this is what I noticed. Oh, so the story of this movie's story was written by an American. Because no <laughs> English person would write, would think there were just kids roaming around. In the 60s. In the 60s. <laughs> but an American, who does not live in England, and who once, once read Oliver Twist, thinks that England just hasn't evolved since then. So, here we are. Uh, there are two Oliver Twist, and they run down an alleyway, which looks like the alleyway from Blow Up. If you've seen that movie, you'll get the reference. If you haven't, too bad. Um, the movie's on YouTube. The movie's on YouTube. I'll link to it in the description. Watch it. Um, yeah, uh, so that, so, and they, so they have, like, so essentially they all team up. I'm just skipping a lot of stuff. They all yeah, team up. Yeah, they all team up, and then there's a jump cut to them being older. Yes, and they're all old now. Um, yes. This cuts and, to and them they, being, like, um... 80 years old. <laughs> um, it Not cuts eight. to, I don't know, 15 years... When is this They set? were, like... I'm confused. 18 as... least. Yeah. Um, yeah, they have... I'm because because as... uh, she gets a job. Yeah, so well, well, I'm confu- what I'm a little confused about, right, is... Mm. So... Beginnings and the movie is very obviously set in the nineteen in the seventies. Mm. I mean, it's got a, at least it's got a very seventies aesthetic. The beginning starts in nineteen sixty four. Mm. How old does she look then? Like the beginning eight. I feel like eight's too young. Eight. Uh, I'm sure I woke up the time. Let's like say that she's nine to ten. Yeah. So. If she's 10 then, it's okay, then that makes sense, years, yeah. yeah if it's 10 years, because I was just like, if it's 74. 10, 74, okay, then 74, yeah, okay, so she's like 20. Yeah. Because then be like 20. 20. Uh, and it's got, I think it's got a good like, aging jump cut. Yeah. It's got like, so it starts with her dyeing her hair because she has black and white hair. Which, which is genetics. Genetics, yeah, yeah. That's what happens if someone with white hair has a baby with someone with black hair. It's just a mix of that. That's <laughs> just how it is. Yeah. Um, actually, I want to mention this because. I was so before this movie came out, before any trailers had been released, they I was watching a YouTube channel called Practical Folks, and they have a thing called Drunk Disney, where they take shots to Disney movies, and it's very funny. And they did one on 101 Dalmatians, and they had the question: question Do you think Cruella dye, dyes her hair black or bleaches half of it white? And then they made the joke: She's a redhead. And then I saw the first trailer of this movie, and I was like, yes! She is a redhead! The, the writer of this movie, the director of this movie saw that drunk Disney. Um, yeah, so, it has a jump cut from when she's a kid dyeing her hair, and then she goes down in front of the mirror, and then shows her as Emma Stone, doing a very good English accent, I think. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it was, yeah. It was a good, good accent. I was really, when I first saw it, I was like, oh no. It's gonna be a bad English accent. For some reason, under Eng- American actors don't usually do great English accents. Mm. My source, the Sherlock Holmes movies, was Robert Downey Jr. Um, have you seen those? Yeah, I didn't focus on the accents because I, I just they're good like, movies. I just like um, Robert Downey Jr. as yeah, Sherlock. Yeah, I really like the movies. He's really bad at the accent. Um, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so yeah, they are they're just a bunch of thievery people. Yeah, they're they're thieving grifters. Yeah, uh, at one point she they see on the TV, and I have the name written down here somewhere. It, yeah, Tala Bankhead, 
who on she sees on TV, and that was apparently the lady who inspired the voice from Cruella. <laughs> comes together yeah uh so they're, they're a bunch of thievery people in england at one point they rob a guy's hotel room whilst he's in the shower odd choice is but just what yeah, tim curry which own. is just home alone too tim curry walks into a guy's hotel room to investigate macaulay culkin and macaulay culkin who's recorded his uncle calling him a pervert earlier it's a long story mm. um and yeah okay so Lucky me, I have not watched that. <laughs> yeah, I think it was really confusing. Um, yeah, so that's... You know, yada, yada, yada. It happens. Uh, so then it turns out she wants to join Liberty. Jasper uh, gets her a thingy. Gets her an interview? An interview. No, didn't get, no, no, uh, she gives her a job. job yeah. Just somehow. Uh, so she gets a job at Liberty. And it's like, oh my god, Liberty. Uh, because Liberty, if you um, don't live in the UK, you, you, I'm actually in London. Um, is like this very big fashion department slash furniture store, de- department. Really department, department store. Department store feels too general. General, yeah. It's very like it's it's like old London. It's a very style. fancy clothes shop. Clo- yeah, like clothes and, and jewelry. Clothes, jewelry, and sofas with ornate designs on them, and mm-hmm. a, and a very a large like a meter tall porcelain statue of a leopard. Or Jaguar. No, I'm just going to call it That's a department a, yeah. store. Put the leopards. Yeah. I went there, my, after I watched this movie, movie, my mum was reminded of it and started taking us all the time. Um, this movie, it does, admittedly, one thing it does do well is it has a very, has a very good representation of liberty. Because liberty, uh, you t- I look at the building, you'll, I might put a clip in here. It looks, it has that feel of every time you're in a room, it feels like you're in the secret room you're not supposed to be in with all this cool stuff. And that, this movie, actually the entire movie has that kind of feel. Like, you feel like every scene has so many, it feels like a real world. Yeah. Which a lot of Disney movies Everything's don't. Everything's fleshed out. Yeah, everything, but like it feels like there, I mean a lot of this movie is real, everything, it doesn't look like they're using too many green screens. Mm. And they do, it's apparent. Um, uh... <laughs> But it looks, I mean, everything looks real. I mean, um, I mean, I think, especially because London, I think central London where they're filming, you don't have to change all that much because a lot of the buildings haven't changed for millennia. Um, <laughs> Not quite millennia. <laughs> just about. Um, uh, maybe. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, so they, they she works at Liberty now. Uh, I'm kind of just, we, it's weird, we'll like, fo- I feel like every time we do this, we, we focus on one plot point and then, like, vote on tiny plot point and then skip a bunch of other things. Uh, so yeah, she's working at Liberty, she has a boss, which is, he's both an asshole and kind of awesome. He's not awesome, See, he just Luke has a nice life. really likes him, and he aspires to be like him. I liked, I, my, I, my dream is to be an annoying boss. For the rest of us, we understand that he's very annoying. Hor- the movie Horrible Bosses is a uh, passion project to reimagine, but I'm, I don't know, if the Irish actor in that movie, I don't know. I I feel like I will forget a reference and then it'll be silent for a second. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so she works Liberty, her boss sucks, she's a janitor, uh, and then she gets drunk one night and After almost being fired. After almost getting fired. And she makes, like, we're not even, like, 20 minutes into the movie. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm um, sure we can skip over things. We can skip over things. And the... Uh, yeah. So, yeah, so the baronet, so she gets really drunk, messes up uh, one of the window things. Well, messes up in air quotes. Yeah. The baroness comes to that store because I guess she owns it, loves the window th- dressing, and then gives Cruella a job at her thing. Yes. And then the whole thing's yay, and the movie ends. Credits. It's not ended. There's much more. There's more. Um, so she goes to the thing. She goes to the Baroness's workshop. Workshop? I don't know, what would you call that? Oh, yeah, I, I, you might as well just call it workshop. It's like, a, so it's, no it's like a warehouse, but like in the most expensive part of London to put a warehouse. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I mean, it's like right off Baker Street or something. Essentially, yeah. Like All this movie, I'm like, this, they're just burning money. 
Yeah, pretty much. Um, so this there's a scene where like so the whole thing is like the Baroness has like a raised office, which I also intend to have one day. A raised office. So I can look over slightly above everyone else, so, they so I can look over the peasants. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, also I have some of my notes. I feel like we should mention it. Her, the Baroness's secondhand man is oh, God. Evil Ben Whitchell. Just thought you should know. Uh, so, yep, so she has a cool workshop, and she's immediately told, make a dress. And she makes a dress in 15 minutes. I don't know. It feels like she made a dress in 15 minutes. Yeah, well, they had to cut it. Otherwise, it would have just been too much time I, no, making dresses. I needed a two-hour, like, live stream style feed of Cruella holding an iPhone, streaming her making a dress in real time. I think you're looking for the very, very extended cut. Snyder Cut was four hours. Come on, Disney, get on this. Um, that would have been just your little... Um... My movie. Make it for me. Yeah, no, it would have been the base movie with a two-hour segment of making a dress in the middle of it. I don't think it would have flown that well. Maybe not. The kids might have gone a little bored after all. Yeah, one. just a little. Then again, kids watch Twitch streams all the time. Maybe it would have made Do even... They? I don't know. I imagine that's most of this. I... I mean, you're not, you're not Mom, technically I'm gonna allowed watch, to Mom, make I'm gonna watch. an account if you're not 13. I don't think they care. No, they don't care, but I mean... Mom, can yeah. you, I'm gonna make a Twitch stream so I can watch my favourite YouTubers play Minecraft. <laughs> or my 2012 references. The question is, were they watching people play Minecraft? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have to. I don't use Twitch. Yeah. Um, yeah, so she's... They make a dress, and then the uh, Baroness looks down at them, and there's a very inspired extra... Behind Cruella, just like full seventies suit and making like a stance. The power pose. Like David Bowie power posing behind Cruella, and I don't. And that movie, that guy needs a spin off of his own. Um, yeah, yeah, he does. So I think that's what we. I mean, he has Disney. a story. Yeah, I'll sell that to Disney. I'll sell that to you for one pound. And I want the cre- in the credits to have my name in like big the whole screen. letters. Yes. Um. Yeah, I haven't got a lot of notes about this. I mean, yeah, so she makes a dress and the Baroness is mean and yada yada yada. Um, the Baroness, played by Emma Thompson, mm-hmm. is... I think everyone's in this... Actually, every everyone in this movie is having fun. Yeah, it looks like it. The accents are kind of goofy. The Baron... Uh, Emma Thompson is just channeling Meryl Streep from Never Wears Prada. <laughs> um, she's... like. She's having. There's a lot of really fun moments with her. Like, there's a bit where she, her, and Cruella have. Um, well, I guess Estella have dinner. And she's like, the guy's fiddling yeah. with the court, and she just gives it to him, and she pops it into his eye. Um, there's, a, there, oh, there's another bit where she's, like, eating in her car, and she just throws the napkin, the plate, out the window. <laughs> just a lot of. She's having fun on set. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, would, I mean, I would love to just wear, like, a ball gown all day and do whatever she's doing. I mean, it seems like it would be really annoying though, wearing a ball gown. Mm. Surely it would just get in the way. You got Emma Thompson. Oh, okay. For money. If it knocks anything over, just pay for it. Mm. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so she now has a job for the Baroness and yada yada. yada. Um, she's, um, like, her assistant or something, but also does fashion things. Yeah, also we introduced her Roger, the Guy from ah, the yes, original Roger. movie. Uh, he he's a lawyer now. Mm. Yep, yep. That's he's in this movie for a post credit scene. That's it. Um, oh, also it'll Pretty come back later. Scene. In as a kid, Cruella had a best friend. Yes, that's also important. We completely f- skipped over that we part. We did. That's in the come um, back. that was the that was the person who got hit in the face with the tennis ball. No, no that's the person who got saved. Terminated. Yeah, 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 but, but actually face. didn't because it was just a photoshopped hand. Exactly. Yeah. Sorry. Um. Yeah. So she has a friend, and it becomes more relevant later. Yeah. Um. Then she also visits. She also visits like a one of those vintage clothes stores, which I imagine they literally just walk around London and found that because. I think there's a hundred vintage, like, clothes slash music stores. Oh, they're, they're very really, easy to find. Especially in that area, which name I can't remember, but I know I've been to. Me neither. Yeah. Also, the guy who owns the store is played by Jamie from Everyone's Talking About Jamie. Oh, is he? Yeah. Good actor. Still haven't seen it. That's good. Just do mm, it. I'm sure. 
Yeah. It's not like the best thing, but it's no. good. It's, yeah, yeah. It's fun under the theatre. Um, so yeah, so she, he's in the movie now. He's like, so, oh yeah. So she buys this dress. A red one. A red dress in the mirror. That'll also come back, window. That'll also come back there. It was in a window, not a mirror. Cause... Sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah, so, and then also she recognises, I'm just kind of jumping everywhere. You are, but She also, also, she notices the necklace on the Baroness's neck. Yes. And she wants to take it because was that before or after? Yeah. So the mum has a necklace in the very beginning of the movie, and then she dies. And I guess no, Cruella got a hold of it, and while she was being chased by the um... no, this is the beginning. This yeah, is the very beginning. Yeah, the beginning. At the beginning, when yeah. she was being chased by the uh, Dalmatians, um, she dropped it just like uh, in the bushes mm -hmm. before the Dalmatians jumped over her and killed her mum. Yeah. And then the Baroness found it. Okay, cool. So the Baroness has this, like, necklace. Yes. And Estella wants it. Yes. And to get it, she decides to have a heist with Jasper and the other guy. Uh, and to do it, she creates an alter, alter Oceans ego. Oceans 3. Oceans, that already exists. Oceans 3? Oceans 13. It's really good. It's Oceans 3 because there's three of them. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Moving yeah, so on. They're making Oceans 3. It's really confusing now. Um, and she comes up with uh, her alter ego, Cruella. And she has a conversation, and she goes there, and it's all these fun hijinks. Um, the Baroness holds a lot of parties. No, she's just at a lot of parties. No, but I think she holds them. Cause she... Not all of them. Well, which ones does she not hold? I think she holds all of them. Maybe. Yeah, because the first I think one, she she's was in just the, the most Gusco. important person at them. I mean, maybe. Yeah, I guess. Either that, or Corella just comes in when she's there. She <laughs> just shows up everywhere she is. Yeah. Um, like an annoying ghost. <laughs> like an annoying ghost. Yes. It's a weird threat. Casper the annoying ghost. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, so they're having a party, and Cruella and the Baroness have a conversation. It's very good acting. Mm. You know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, also, we find out the best friend from school earlier that is now a journalist. At the party. Because See, it all comes back. That, because of so the greatest coincidence. I know. Um, set set it up. that before. I know, we're really good at setting this stuff up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cruella is the mar this movie with the greatest convenience of all time. Mm. Um, but at this point, um, the Baroness does not know that Cruella is Estella, yeah. who has been working for the Baroness, but as Estella instead of Cruella. So she has the red hair instead of the black and white hair. Yeah. Um, it's a lot more clear in the film. I mean, I'm, I'm again, I'm just going to say this makes a lot more sense if you've watched the movie. Yes. Um, so you probably watch it now. Um, actually, you know... Oh, yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah. If, if you didn't realise already. Yeah, probably after this it gets... <laughs> his, that was like your teaser. This is now the spoiler section. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. There's a, you know the bit where he falls, with the, where they're, with the, the heist goes awry, and then the tubby guy swings into the into cake. Into a cake. Yes. Lovely. And gas goes everywhere. And yes. I'm like, isn't that toxic? No, it's just probably CO2 because he didn't want to hurt the dog. Yeah, I guess. You sprayed the dog with it. Yeah. You sprayed Wink with it. And then they all escape, and then they drive away in a car, and she drives a bit like Cruella from the movie, which I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Cruella. Uh, you got to have some consistency. Yeah, and she parks outside London Tower Bridge, and the... The London Tower Bridge is not a place. It is. Tower, the Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge? And or is it London Bridge? Tower, I don't know. It's or is a, it the Tower of London? It's a big bridge. Or is it the Tower of the, London the Bridge? The Tower of London <laughs> and a big bridge next to it. They park there. Right. And no one's there. Which mm. is the most unreal. Dogs, I don't care. Dogs can, like, bring you lunch and all that stuff. But no way is there... No one... Is uh, the Tower of London the ever London. not crowded? Yeah, okay. Maybe. That is, like, the most... Crowd, I mean, maybe it was different in 1974, but I don't know. Nowadays. I doubt it. Yeah. Uh, so, she's there, and... What else? Oh, oh yeah. at the party she realised that the Baroness killed her mother. And has the necklace. And has the necklace. Still. So, she's decided she's going to go full Cruella. And... No, she was trying to steal the necklace. So yeah. she tried to steal the necklace. But she finds out at the party that the Baroness killed her yes. mother with the whistle thing. But uh, So they were trying to steal the necklace from the vault, 
and then it went awry because it was not in the vault, yeah. and she was wearing it, so then she tries to steal it then, after, um, what was the smart one called? Jasper. Jasper put rats in a dish next to the Baroness, and then um, she oh. stole, she took the, took the necklace, dropped it accidentally, Mm-hmm. No, she gave it to the dog, and then the dog dropped it. Yeah, the nice dog. We like that dog. We love that dog. And then the uh, one of the Dalmatians got it and accidentally ate it. Yes. So they have to get it out of the door. Also, very. But weird they don't time have to mention yet. this. I've been told we sound the same. So if that it sounds like I'm lie. having a conversation with myself and I've gone completely crazy, I haven't. Or at least I haven't. If I have. He doesn't not... know it yet. Yes. And Don't not... tell him. Okay. <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, so... So she decides to go full Corella, which essentially just means be a dick to her friends. Yes. She does what I think is the most horrible thing in this movie, and she wrecks a bowl of cereal. Yeah, it was honestly unnecessary. It was and... unnecessary violence <laughs> against cereal. And I have a few points. It was Firstly, a cruel and unusual punishment. There was this was some perfectly good frosties. Yes, firstly. Secondly, it is a nightmare to clean up cereal. Oh, it is. Milk is just... also it was on like unpolished wood flooring and stuff, so, so that's just going to seep right in there. Yeah, and it's going to smell like weeks uh, milk for ages. I know. So that's kind, cool. that's going to suck. Um, breaks the bowl, mm. and also I was eating cereal. The fuck? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that was the, I think, the biggest problem, my biggest problem with this movie, is, uh, the cereal. Mm. It was, uh, um, disappointing. So, yeah, they, it's just a lot of, I mean, at this point, it's just kind of Cruella being Cruella, uh, upstage in the Baroness, so kind of a montage of that. It was, honestly, good dresses. I like the dre- The costume design, I think, is immaculate. If this movie wins an Oscar, it would be, it might, this is the only thing I think this movie is in the running for, it's just best... Costume. costume, yeah, that it might get an Oscar for. Mm. Um, Oscar season's coming up, and I really hope Don't Look, Don't Look Up gets nominated. Um, yeah, but anyway, I think uh, Emma Stone. I think I don't know. Maybe she got a lot of praise. She really deserves. She gets. She deserves a lot of praise for her performance here, because mm. I feel like a lot of the time, sometimes actors kind of just what the term uh, play just the same character. Play it. it. Well, just oh, yeah, like Ryan Reynolds. Red Notice, yeah, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Um, Red Notice the is Rock. an example of that, where they're all just playing themselves. Yes, but also The Rock plays the same character in basically everything. Well, they I used mean... to. They 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 he used to, both him and Ryan Reynolds used to not play themselves, and then mm-hmm. Red Notice they both everyone, including Gal Gadot, play themselves. The Rock plays himself less just because of the ending twist. Yeah. Which is a very stupid ending twist. Yeah, but I still like it because it was fun. No, the ending twist is just. Oh, uh, we need a sequel where they all team up. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I would have been really funny if you, I was really. I was kind of hoping you'd just shoot them at the end of that movie. Ooh, that would have been that so would have been good. Funny. It might be. In, I feel like it, I heard a while ago it was an uh, it like in Dwayne Johnson's contract that he couldn't be killed, or at least lose a fight. Hmm. I don't know. I think I heard that somewhere. And if it is, then I mean, yeah, sure. He's the highest paid actor in Hollywood. I mean, he's he's doing whatever he wants at this point, then. Also, don't pay him enough, I'll beat you up. <laughs> uh, and he can't get me because of, of the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> yeah, you're safe for now. <laughs> <laughs> he just jumped into the into the water and is like, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> uh, he could take a private He's swimming through the... No, he's, but he's in California, so he's swimming through the Pacific and walk the rest the of the Pacific? Way. Pacific. There you go. I know. <laughs> I know words. Uh, uh, yeah, like, so anyway... Emma Thompson's, I think she's, she, because I think the best thing is she really does a good performance at deciphering between Cruella and Estella. They definitely feel like different characters. Mm. Yeah, you can tell who she's playing. Yeah, there's no, the there's no like really confusing good. overlap. The hair thing helps, but a lot. The hair, yeah, a lot actually, and the fact that she got like a great wig uh, for that. Yeah, a better a wig than later in this movie. <laughs> I scene. think that was um, so you could tell people apart easier. Yeah, but there's a scene later, scene later in this movie where there's a not well, good wig used. Uh, so, you know. What happens, happens. So, yeah, anyway, so, yeah. Um, they're just upstaging themselves. Not themselves. 
Baroness. Well, actually, yes, because she's working for the Baroness and upstaging the Baroness, so she's upstaging herself. Yeah. Because the Baroness doesn't actually do any work. The dogs like Tottenham, which in the movie is put as a pro, but in real life is a terrible thing, and I like the dogs even less now. See, I don't follow football, so I don't care. I don't either, but in year four I did, and Arsenal. Um, Alright. Uh, so, yeah, um, I think, so they try to do another heist? No. N no. Yes. So, okay, so the Baroness needs dresses for her spring collection. Yes. And Estella's like, I'm gonna make the best one, mm -hmm. but because she's also Cruella, she sabotages it, and she puts a bunch of moth eggs? Cocoons. Cocoons. She just ties them into the dress, and first like their spray, beads. I like their beads, yeah. I'm 90% sure we'll just kill the moths. No. Because you're stabbing them. You're not. Oh. She didn't. She, like, put a loop around them or something. Oh, okay. That takes a lot of time. Yeah, um, well, she put in a lot of time. Luke, did you not notice that one shot of it her being nighttime and her doing that? Exactly. She spent time. Yeah. <laughs> um, She's yes. there for five days straight. She never <laughs> She's there for five days. <laughs> She um, never went home, she never slept. It should have done that Lego movie style five hours later, but like it's in Lego that's blocks. That's not Lego movie. In the Lego movie it goes, it says... No, but that, that's from Spongebob. No, I know, but Lego movie also does it. Well, it's like, it says in blocks. Sure. Because they're doing the, everything is awesome. Oh. And then it cuts to five hours later and in Lego blocks blocks and it goes, and they're still seeing it. And that's a joint. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Lego movie was kind of strange, to be honest. It was. I liked it though. It was good. Um, anyway, um... Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, back to the film at hand. And back to this cinematic adventure. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, so then the Baroness puts them in a safe, and on the day of the gala, darkness. on the day of the gala, she opens it and all the moths have hatched and eaten all her all of the nice dresses, dresses, and that's like Corella's ultimate revenge. Yes. And the Baroness the goes, reason they're in the vault, though, is because the, um, they, the two yeah, came and did I'm, a I'm fake just, heist thing. Yeah. We're going to do a fake heist, boys. Um. Sections eleven references. Yeah, yeah. Um, just, I mean, that's a good idea. It's a, you know, I don't know how the uh, moth breathe, breathes, breathes. Breathes doesn't sound like a word. No. Um, the, way you, the way you kill closed moths is you put them outside there, so it makes sense that they. Um, yeah, because they get eaten. They, and you were you were talking about the um, them not having enough air to survive in there, and I just realised why on earth would it be airtight? Mm. Because it's a safe. It's a safe, but. I don't feel like safes are normally airtight. I think they are now. Also, not safes that you can walk into. No, they're not. It's just really hard to do that. I think that might be nowadays, just because... Probably. Yeah. You've um, got 1970 here. Yeah. And it's probably like an old safe as well. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, so, yeah. So then she also has a party. And this is just, like, 70s... ACDC Queen music, yada yada yada. Also, it, everyone... it was a good sequence. Yeah. Also, uh, she's pretending that she's she, she's made a dress out of the dogs, mm. and I would have really thought it was hilarious if they just gone and they, it's a fake out. Like it, she says later, oh I didn't, but it would have been really funny if she did. And just heel turn. Oh no, I I killed those. I skinned those dogs. <laughs> Uh, you heard it here first, people. That uh, is a weird flaw with this Felix, uh, Sorry, uh, yeah. Luke likes uh, the idea of um, Cruella skinning dogs. That is a weird <laughs> thing, though. Cruella skinning the dogs. Yes. Because that's in the she original movie, and they don't address it here. No, they don't, but that's because it's... I mean, it's set at a different time, so, I mean, it's a different incarnation I mean, of Cruella. they've announced a sequel. Right. So and maybe she'll just become we'll see. more evil. No, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, so, that, you know, she's, and then, oh, she, when she gets back, oh no, the Baroness is in her house, and by the way, she lives in this, like, two-story apartment, it's, it's uh, two she lives apartment. in the attic of a, no, she lives in this two-story, because then they look downstairs, and the oh, hole yeah, the floor, and... so it's like a derelict building, but she lives but, like, in the attic, in the, firstly, in the top floor, no way in this area of London it would still be, in. oh, no, no way, secondly, now this building oh, no. is a, very no, is a five right. million pound apartment, and it's empty and filled with expensive furniture covered in cloths, and is, or, everything's owned by a Russian oligarch for tax purposes. Um, so yeah, so that, I imagine that's what it's like now. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, uh, when she walks into her apartment and the Baroness is there, she says, long, the Queen is dead, long live the Queen. Which you said was a royalty thing, but still stands No, down. It, like, um, when the... King well, is in... knighted. Yeah, not, not knighted. Not knighted, crowned. Crowned, we'll yes. Get, we'll get that. People, um, they would say, uh, king is dead, long live the king. Mm. I'm not exactly sure why. I think it was just so, like, uh, this one is the king now, and may he live long. <laughs> we'll probably, we'll probably be killed one of those soon. With due respect mm. to her majesty. Nah, she's completely immortal. <laughs> she's She's been here uh, since before the we're, dinosaurs. We're going to hear a long... We're, we're going to hear the queen is dead. Long live the king. It's going to be medieval and awesome. It would be awesome to hear it, but I don't like the idea of it because, you know... Her majesty. Exactly. Um, and no treason here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the Baroness kidnaps Jasper and co. Yes. And tries to kill Cruella. Tries to kill Cruella, and... Dunno. It sucks. And But then Cash it cuts dinner? to black. And on it, oh, and it plays the song Smile from Joker. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so, and then it turns out, and then Cruella wakes up. And major points to the movie for not doing that thing where, like, it's POV and the eyes are opening, because that really bothers me now. I've just seen it too many times in movies. Understandable. Yeah, so she cuts out, and it turns out one of the um, Baroness's butlers... The guy from Kingsman, who dies, singing, um, what's it called? Mm-hmm. Country Roads. Country Road. Um, he, uh, Mark Strong. Um, so, he, yeah, he's like... He's a good guy now, because he's Mark Strong, and he's... He, when, when was he a bad guy again? Well, he was like, it's like he's the Baroness, he's, he works for Baroness. Yeah, he wasn't a bad guy, though. Yeah, but he works for What guys. did he do? Work for a bad guy. It's like how the storm, mm-hmm. it's like how all the people in the offices and the Death Star are bad guys, just because they work there. Alright, fair enough. Um, yeah. What are my yep. notes? My notes are really weird. Um, His notes are really weird, and there's lots of them. Mm. And some of them are yellow. Yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, yep. The, so she was. She's fine. She and rescues. She rescues. Oh, oh yeah. She rescues Jasper in another Terminator reference. And she also finds her birth certificate. Oh yeah. Now oh, the, she's the Baroness's daughter. Big surprise. Yeah. There, there was no build up to that. Everyone believed sorry. it. I was like, if someone <laughs> told me that, um, like that tracks, we're doing Star Wars again. Um, oh my god, yeah, it is. Also, Emma Stone has a very interesting monologue to a not actual mother at the fountain, mm. and I didn't realize it was an unbroken shot until it was ever. And it was a very good shot. Just mm. saying. Good directing, Craig Gillespie, yeah. who made this movie. Um, Craig, he, he did I, Tonya, which we reviewed a while back, and then he's, there's a bunch of TV shows which have put his name on the thing. Or at least all set where he like just directed like one episode of it, and so they're now say from the director of Itonia. Um, so yeah, I just I need it. I'm waiting for him to make another thing. He hasn't made another thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a scene. This is the scene here with the bad wig I mentioned earlier. It bothered me. Okay. Wait, which wig is it? It's when she's on the balcony talking to Jasper. Just before they discover the Deville car. Yeah, I, I didn't notice it. Oh uh, yeah, it's one of those things that you know. It's like it's just like ADR stuff. You don't notice it until you watch it again. You're like, oof. Um, yeah. A lot of Spider Man's ADR. Hmm. Tom Holland is not that good an accent. He just does it again and again and again until he gets it right. Hmm, that's funny. Yeah. So, uh, what else have we got? <sighs> Uh, yeah. Also, yeah, she rescues Jasper and such from the jail, just post-bail. No, I... Actually, wait. Yeah, couldn't you have just posted bail instead of, like... Or you could just walk in and say, I'm not dead. <laughs> yeah, oh, that, yeah. That's the crime I'm not dead, guys. <laughs> in efforts committed. Yeah. Oh, no, you burned down a house. No. Yes. You're not the one that burned down the house. No, I guess I'm not, maybe. Um, I mean, it's, uh, it was a derelict building that 
no one was supposed to be living in. I, th- I think I'm just gonna like run through notes yeah, here. Yeah, okay. um, why do the police cars? They, so it's, it's Scotland Yard. At least it's at least it's supposed to be looking. They look kind of like Scotland Yard where she yeah. crashes do. And the police cars don't have any police car emblem police emblem on them. They're just blue cars with the sirens. I don't, I don't know why. I guess it was easier to get blue cars than like 1970 police cars. That would make sense. Yeah, I mean everything is practical. I mean, I can hmm. appreciate it. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Is that that hard to paint? I uh, maybe that's just actually what they look like. You no, do you I know? Mean, I wouldn't know. I don't know. Exactly. Um, there's a very funny. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, she's the kind of chilling. She sends packages to every everyone. Oh, okay. The Baroness is having another ball. That's just this woman's life. Yes. Um. And... The ball is life, bro. <laughs> oh God. The Tom Sa- Thomas Sanders thing from 2015. Oh right. Um, I think it was kind of funny to be honest. Fun. Watching his stuff recently. Yeah. yeah. Put in the put in the background while I'm editing. Hmm. Good time. Yeah. Um, the Pokemon ones. Found them on YouTube recently. I was like, oh, did you? Yeah, it's on YouTube. Huh. Yeah. This is like forty minute long videos. Damn. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, she the um, and then Cruella finds everyone who's going to the ball and says and says pretending to be the Baroness in letters uh, dressed like Cruella. Well, actually, no. She sends them whole costumes. Yes. Yeah, so sends them they whole look exactly well. like how she's gonna look on the day. Yeah. Um. This yeah. is, you know, look like Corella in remembrance of Corella because she dead now. So, um, the Baroness is expecting Corella to be there, and so has a taser. And there's a fun scene of Emma Thompson just tasing people, which I would also do if I was wealthy. Just mm-hmm. tase my employees. Yeah. Oh yeah, the bit where she throws the chairs, and she's like, "You are in the way." <laughs> it's yeah. just like throws a chair at someone. That's your fault. <laughs> but also, she very half heart. She because Emma Thompson, I was did not imagine was gonna about to go full like flex and pick up a chair. She very like half heartedly throws a chair, and it kind it looks like a kind of mix of the maid and she's the maid's like ow, oh. and then she looks very and then Emma Thompson very suddenly and dramatically just goes scours at them. You were in the way. <laughs> Acting, ladies and gentlemen. Acting. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's I guess. So then all the guests arrive and they start getting like rugby tackled by guards because they think they're Cruella because they all look like Cruella. Um, and for so, some reason they have orders to just rugby tackle Cruella. I know, like just they. It's weird. Every time there's a cutaway gag, with they always rugby tackle them. Oh yeah, they just. It's what they do. Well, I mean, it's funny though. So uh... as you, yeah, that's what we did. Um, so I mean, it's just I have my notes. Sixties style trolling. What? Does the trolling? Trolling. Trolling. Yeah. No, not a clue. I don't know. Um. Yeah, and then also they've been playing the things like, is Cruella going to kill the Baroness? Um. Yeah. So she's there, and then. There's this whole thing of, of is Cruella gonna kill the Baroness, and there's this whole lead up behind her with like a needle. And yes. It turns out she doesn't. She just pricks her and then pulls the dog whistle, whistle. away yes. from her. Um, and then she goes out to the balcony mm. and stands... is now dressed up like um, Estella. Estella, because she changed. Everyone in this movie changes outfit very quickly. Jasper was... also changes up the Cruella outfit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I think that was um, because he was prepared to do that. Yeah, that was quick. Yes. Quick change. Um, so, I mean, great. Um, so she goes on the balcony where her, like, she saw her mother get killed. Mm. And Which is overlooking the sea. It's very sweet. Overlooking the sea. It's very dramatic. And then she's like, mother. And they're like, oh, yes, we love each other. <laughs> and then whilst they're doing that, the entire party gathers behind them. Silently, on gravel. Very silently. Well, because they're standing on gravel, the quietest of floors. Oh yeah. No, no noise was ever made. No noises. That that doesn't happen. So, uh, yep, that they do that. Mm -hmm. Um, and the and then the Baroness pushes off Cruella, and into the ocean. Into the ocean, and everyone's like, and Cruella dies. Uh, At least we think so. 
and the entire thing like oh everyone behind them is like gasps and the Baroness turns around and has some really fun acting mm -hmm. from Emma Thompson. It's like she jumped. I'm gonna edit it in here now. She jumped. Oh, did, did you see? She jumped. She tried. To, she tried to drag me with her. She jumped. She jumped. She jumped. And it's it's really funny. Um, it's very English. Like she jumped. She jumped. She jumped. I love the bit where she like pretends to faint for a oh, second. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> wait, no. To pretend to no faint. one believes me. She jumped. <laughs> <laughs> and then it cuts as you could just hear, it's like, what are you doing with those handcuffs? <laughs> so she gets arrested and taken away. Yeah, and then it cuts to, oh my god, Corella had a parachute in her pants. No, it was the dress turned into a parachute. Sorry, I mean, I meant pants in the American way. Yes. Not the English way. Yes, we're well, watching an English film. Oh, that's a... <laughs> well, American... it's an American film set in England, I count it. <laughs> it's mine now. What's that whole Bond thing? Are the Bond... Because I know the Bond movies are supposed to be English. I think they probably were English. But do they, do they even count anymore? Because, like, mm, they're no, films really. essentially everywhere. Mm. This newest one has an American director, mm. American writers, American producers, and... Most of the cast is American. I think a decent amount of the cast is American. Yes. And by decent, I mean at least two. At uh, least two. <laughs> no, sorry, three. Um, I think the villain guy plays villains is American. Or Egyptian. He's something. I, I don't know what you would... Um, no, he's, he, yeah. you know, he's Egyptian or something. Yeah, I think he's like... Yeah, I think it was the thing where he was born in one place and then moved to California. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, so... Yeah, and it turns out, so Cruella lands in the sea with some, uh, some top-notch CGI from 2005. Oh, it was great. Um, 2005 CGI. It was, it was, it was so, not good. So smooth. It was smooth. You can <laughs> tell that Emma Watson's in the water. Emma Watson? Thompson. Stone. That one. Stone. All of the Emmas. All the Emmas. Um... And then she suddenly drives up as Cruella. Because yeah. she changed incredibly quickly. And got up well, that cliff actually, we don't know how long it took for... Um, them to Emma walk to around get... the thing. No, to get um, I guess the police taken away arrived. and stuff. Yeah. And then... No, the police were already there. Because they were called before... Well, yeah, Cruella drives up as the Baroness is being taken away. Does she? Yeah. Well, that's... Well, because she's... she's timing that's Cruella over there! Maybe, maybe the Baroness it's just took ages being really complacent. She's wearing things. very thick heels, and oh, it's yeah. hard to walk on the gravel. Mm. This happens, guys. Um, yeah, so... Then... So now Cruella owns the mansion, because of inheritance. Yes, inheritance does work. Like, wait a minute, she wasn't dead. No, if you go to prison for killing someone, all your stuff goes to your next of kin. Yep. That makes sense. Um... And the next of kin was died, so the mansion went to Cruella because it's, it's technically Estella. Yes, know the legal but stuff she, works. The she legal basically st made it look like she legally died, and then is now Cruella, who is yeah. a in air quotes a different person. Yes, um, and then the movie ends. Yeah, uh, it has the, the graphics of the credits. I thought were nice. I just thought we should mention. Them. I don't um, know the song, but the song's not great. But the, oh right, cool. yeah, yeah, no, that was good. The graphics was good. are cool. I think most movies now are interesting. I like appreciate the graphics. I don't know if it's like that. Hmm. Um, it was definitely more interesting than just text. Aesthetically, it was nice. Yes. Um, I mean, apparently this movie has been in production hell since 2015. Oh wow. Um, so, I mean, great. Came out six years later. It was a good movie. Yeah. Solid. Good movie. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't put it. It's my top ten, but you know, it's, it's like a solid, it's a, it's a good move. Yeah, mm. good move. My only complaint, if it is a complaint, is that they missed a chance to do a new Hollywood style. Because there was this whole movement in the 70s of new Hollywood. Was it in the UK, though? It was in the US, but it could, it's a, you can apply it to the UK. It was kind of happening all over the world. Oh. But primarily in the US. They could have, but they didn't. And there was a lot of... I don't know, there's some stuff... It, it's the only thing that holds this movie back from feeling very 70s. 
But again, as I mentioned, they're making, as Emma Thompson, Emma Stone put it, a Godfather style part two to this. <laughs> I'm like, God, okay. <laughs> Turn it down. It wasn't the Godfather. <laughs> Turn it out a bit. <laughs> the Dalmatian Mafia. <laughs> you come to me. <laughs> On the day of my dog sh- cut on the day of my dog's <laughs> dressing. Yeah, maybe go with it. <laughs> and you asked me for a sequel. <laughs> uh, yeah. This has been a silly episode. Very silly. Very, Very silly, silly episode. So um, that is the plot. That's the plot. We should probably. I think. I think it's about it. Yeah. Yep. I have nothing more to say about it. Nor do I. Um, watch Cruella. It's a good movie. It's on Disney+. Plus. Yes, Disney+. Plus is very cheap. It's cheaper than Netflix. Mm. Get it. I think it's cheaper than Netflix. It's £60 a year. Is it? Yeah. It's cheaper than I have no idea about the prices of streaming services. Netflix went probably doubled. It used to be 5 bucks, now it's 10 bucks. Yeah. After quarantine, they went up. Mm. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> That's Corona. Uh, if you want to find more episodes, which is one of our best episodes, I'm very proud of this episode. Um, we're on C Files at YouTube and Spotify, and if I eventually get around to it, maybe the podcast set. Wow. Oh, we might be so fancy, fancy in the future. Who knows? Um, so, Who's yeah. Fancy? No. I'm Luke. I'm Huxley. And this has been the C Files podcast. Ta ta. <laughs> yes. Ta ta. Hi, this is Luke. If you liked that video, please like and subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications about new videos.